It began in Wuhan when the first cases emerged. We brought you ground reports from Wuhan. Then the city was put under a lockdown. 11 million people in Wuhan restricted to their homes. This was on the 23rd of January. Two months later, more than 3 billion people all over the world are under a lockdown. The Wuhan virus spread and killed. First, China did not want you to know what's happening in Wuhan, but the story got out. Now China wants you to see how all is well in Wuhan. Tonight we bring you two sets of videos and figures. One set that China wants you to see and another that China wants to hide. And they both tell starkly different stories. On Gravitas tonight, let's fact check China's latest claim. Has China defeated the coronavirus? Is everything fine in Wuhan? We will let some videos do the talking. And these videos are all from China. This on your screen is from Wuhan, the birthplace of the coronavirus. Chinese state media wants you to see these images of Wuhan. People are out and about again. Trains are running. Malls have reopened. Businesses have resumed services. On the streets, people are using bikes. The message is clear. The worst is over. Wuhan has bounced back. Some restrictions are still in place, but largely the situation is under control. This is Beijing's Wuhan story, these pictures. Now let me show you what China doesn't want you to see. What you will not find in the dispatches that come from Beijing. These pictures. Over the weekend, we received these images. There were clashes in Hubei. Hubei is the province where Wuhan is situated. Look at these images. This is a rare display of public anger in China. And here's what happened here. When the restrictions were lifted, people from Hubei tried to leave. They wanted to travel to the neighboring Jiangxi province. But they were not allowed to enter. That's what reports say. If everything is fine, if the outbreak is under control, if Wuhan is back to business, then why are people being stopped? China says that its people are facing racist attacks the world over. What kind of attacks are these then inside China? The coronavirus has led to a deep mistrust. Locals feel people from Hubei are carriers of the deadly virus. So when a group tried to enter Jiangxi, there was a pushback. The local police was unable to contain it. Clashes broke out. Police vehicles were overturned. This happened in China. These were the videos. Now let's talk about the figures. The lockdown is hurting the Chinese economy like every other economy. The propaganda machinery in China is trying to tell people that the dragon has defeated the virus. But those claims are hard to buy because of the government's record to hide the truth. Where facts are suppressed, conspiracy theories flourish. Do you remember the Tencent report more than a month ago that said the number of dead may have crossed 24,000? We reported that. This page was taken off then, but the doubts lingered. There is a major question mark over the death toll in China, especially in Wuhan. The official figure is 3,186. China says 3,186 people have died in Hubei province, which is home to Wuhan. But a new report raises some serious questions. These are photographs from China that show long lines outside funeral homes in Wuhan. Fresh claims are doing the rounds. One such report says that on two occasions, trucks shipped 2,500 urns. On two successive days, that's 5,000 urns supplied to Wuhan. Far more than the government's death count. There is no independent verification of the numbers yet. But here's another report that raises questions. And this is by Radio Free Asia. This report says that more than 40,000 people could have died during the outbreak. You heard that number, right? 40,000. That's a very big number. The estimate is based on a claim that all seven funeral homes in Wuhan are handing out 3,500 urns every day. What are these urns for? They usually have remains of the dead. 
Have 40,000 people died in China? Did all these people die due to the coronavirus? As I said, there is no independent verification. These are reports. There are only questions that China is trying to gloss over with images of Wuhan going back to business.